Hey guys, I kind of ran into something I wanted to share. This is a, um, a 60 volt to 12 volt um, regulator for an e-bike. This is your standard one that you usually find on the um, plastic style plastic style e-bikes. Um, one thing I did find though, on the one side the potting was raised, and when you pushed on it, it would flex, and then and it, eventually it ended up cracking. So I figured we'd open it up and have a look at it, and I was surprised to find something I've found actually in the past with some of their other products that were so-called potted. And we'll get the screwdriver and we'll pop it open. Yeah, so basically I just basically want to show you the innards and how they pot their uh, devices actually I found a um, regulator for a pit bike that was the same as this basically to save money they don't actually pot it they just basically put a cover on the on the outside to make it look like it's professionally potted and then you get this Uh, it's likely silicone gel or sand silica but uh, that is actually kind of funny uh, I figured we'd just quickly pop it open more and uh, we could have a look at the if we can get it out without destroying it Ooh. it is coming out That's killer. Uh. The other reason I wanted to open it up is because it was making really weird sounds at 70 volts. So I wasn't sure if the caps were gone or not. I'll have to go over it. That's if we can get it out in one piece. That's what I'm working on. Yeah, see now it's starting to pull on the board. Let's see if we can break it up. Oh, there's a nice chunk. No components in it. Thing, whoops, kind of destroyed that. That's all right. Those can be resoldered on. One thing I'm not finding is where it's. Oh, I guess it's underneath the um, the PCB where it's uh, mounted to the heatsink. Let's get rid of the rest of this. get the board out. Well, I managed to pretty much get most of the potting out without destroying it totally. The transformer just sits in there loosely. It's not uh, soldered down to anything. Hmm. That might be just like um, a choke. No, it's a transformer. Well, let's try taking the board out. I know it'll still work, except for those caps that are still stuck in that, but those are easy to redo. And there you go. I've seen some heat. See the burning around there? I have very good contact with the... And it's seen some water too, look at that. It's amazing it still works. Jeez. It's had water in it. 
This thing's been through hell and it's still going. That's amazing. Yeah, this is just a, like a choke. Only two lines going to it. Well, at least now I can rewire it because this, the leads were getting short. And uh, I'll chip those out and resolder them. <clears throat> I could have swore some of these caps were going bad. I'll probably end up replacing them anyway. Um, I run this thing at, uh, see these are really rated for 25 volts. And I run this thing at 70 volts. It survived, but uh, I I'm amazed. Look at that. <laughs> That's brutal. Anyway, there's what it looks like on the inside. So what I'll do is I'll recap it to 70 volts and I will put this in a better case. Probably I'm going to put it in an old uh, controller and then I can modify it. Later guys.